Hey guys, Delman here, and I'm bringing you the news. So, in the latest Around the Verse and Reverse the Verse, we got to see the state of the Polaris. The Polaris Corvette seems to be shaping up really nicely. We can see that the hangar can fit a saber. That's pretty awesome. Also, we got to see the interior layout, what it's uh, looking to look like, how the bridge is really, really close to the concept art. This is only like, you know, subject to change. I mean, anything can change between now and the ship's release. We see the hangar in motion, that's pretty sweet. We also got to see like more of the interior, the mess hall and stuff where the pool table is. How like it all looks like it works and folds together. We also got to see how the Polaris' firing mechanism, well, what it looks like. It'll fire the biggest torpedoes in the game, like the biggest class of torpedo there is. That's pretty spectacular in itself. We also got to see the crashed javelin like uh, in more detail. And they explained how wrecks are going to work on planets. Uh, with wrecks on planets, how they're going to work is they may not always be visible. It might just be a hatch in the ground that you can fall through and then you're inside a ship. Also, wrecks will rust from the inside out if they've been, say, captured by nomads or something. Nomads might be living inside and put all their personal touches around the place. Uh, touches. And that way, you know, it becomes more of a lived-in environment. It does, it's not so sterile, as the guy put it. Also, talking about lived in, in Squadron 42, you'll see the Idris and stuff all have bits and pieces of living, like, you know, people, knickknacks and stuff all over the place. And they're planning of having that in the full game where you'll be able to customize your ship with your own knickknacks and stuff like you would your hangar. So you'll be able to put down little models of your ship maybe on the, uh, the dashboard of your, your ship, your Starfarer. Say, for instance, you could have like a little model or a little poster up on the ceiling. That would be cool. Also, they're planning on having it so... The more a ship is lived in, you'll have a cleaning bill. So if you don't pay it, there'll be like scratches on the walls of the interior of your ship, maybe dirt mucked up in the corners, empty cans lying around, who knows what else, all sorts of junk all over the place. That is really nice. Personally, I don't think I'm going to spend too much money on cleaning the ship because we're going to be too worried about paying standardized ship expenses in terms of ammunition and fuel because we're going to be running around in the Polaris quite a lot. So it's probably going to end up being really mucky and dirty, but hey, it'll have like more of character that way. Also, we got to uh, watch and find out more about how the sound works on planets with like the environment and whatnot. How the planet's environmental uh, sound, the ambience will change over the period of night today. And it will all be done correctly to how far away it is from the star. It won't be uh, necessarily like the GTA clock, it's gonna be all realistic and simulated how the sound will change depending on like what time of day it is in that section of the planet, like each chunk at a time. Also, we got to hear how sound will react with uh, things on the planet, with me like mechanical wrecks and whatnot, you'll hear rustling and things like that, and when the wind really picks up, you'll hear bits of metal waving and bending and all sorts of craziness going on. So in Around the Verse and Reverse the Verse, we got a really good look at basically the future of Star Citizen's immersion and the uh, Polaris, which is pretty spectacular. The Javelin class destroyer is pretty much ready to be shown to the public, but they're just currently waiting on the OK from Chris Roberts. Uh, he has the go ahead on everything, as you know. So yeah. Thank you for tuning in, folks, and remember, as always, to fly safe, Commanders. Oh, and for anyone else watching this that does not own a Pledge of Star Citizen, you can go ahead and make a RSI account for free, and they currently have a free fly going on. For about two weeks, you'll be able to fly around in the uh, Anvil Super Hornet, which is a really cool ship. So, yeah. If you need a referral code, please use the one on my channel. Every referral really helps. Trust me on this. Uh, it adds little knickknacks for me to play around with. I like the knickknacks. But yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you for tuning in, folks. If you want, I'm going to have to sound like a douche now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. Sorry about that. The poll promoting thing. I'm not a fan of it. But yeah. Take it easy, folks, and have an awesome day.